I am just working on some herb potatoes. In the background, you can hear my pressure canner doing the stock that we worked on last night. And I'm sure you can hear the livestock auction going here. So I'm sorry about that, but I want to see how the jerseys are going. So, you know, we've got kind of a lot going on, but I do want to get the, the potatoes done because I do need to use some of the stock that we, ma we made in order to do our herbed potatoes. So I'm just going to go ahead and prep that while we're doing the pressure canning of the stock. So I can and utilize my time a little bit more wiser. And this is something that I could have chopped and just packed directly into my jars, but I do want to rinse off my potatoes after I chop them in cold water. And it's just easier to do that if I put them in my oval Dutch oven. And I hope that you don't mind listening to the background of the livestock auction. I just wanted to see what the pricing of... Let me turn this down. What the pricing of the livestock auction for the certified organic cows are in our area well some of them are in our area some of them are not like the organic jersey herd that i was writing the prices down for that herd came from minnesota and they were all fresh within 30 to 90 days two of that herd were bred back the rest were open and they were milking anywhere from 35 to 50 pounds, both bred back jerseys. We have another certified herd, but they are all Holsteins. We have some Hojos that were sold earlier that were conventional. Um, just crazy milking numbers there. Really outstanding um, components on those cows. Um, just before Thanksgiving, a phenomenal, phenomenal Jersey herd went through. It is really, really good that we did not have the trailer and we were not there that day because I don't know where I would have put the cows that would have been in the back of it. So does anyone else prep their vegetables by doing something else while you're doing the mundane tasks that you absolutely can't stand to do? Because with my Azure order coming up, I have, I think, a couple, hum, a couple hundred pounds of pears coming. Um, maybe 40 or 60 pounds of apples, so not very much in apples. Um, another case of grapefruits, because I think I only have... Maybe one, two, either two and a half jars left or three and a half jars or three and a half quart jars left of my grapefruits. Because you get four servings per quart jar and, and quite, quite uh, ample servings at that of grape or of grapefruit per quart jar. But I really am enjoying the way that they were done in the 1932 method. They just have a much fresher flavor. It is just like scooping a fresh grapefruit. It's almost like they were in process. They are absolutely delicious that way. It's, it's incredibly fresh. Even though they're completely processed, it, it does not taste like they were processed at all. Even though there are honey recipes that have to be hot packed 
and the grapefruits have to be in with the syrup in order to do them that way. It's almost like I don't want to make those recipes because I am loving this other recipe so much. Even though I know I love my grapefruits with honey, it's like, oh goodness. I had gotten seven quart jars out of the 40 or 50 pound box of grapefruits. And the last three quarts, I did really pack those grapefruits pretty tight because they ripened up a little bit more because I did leave them a couple of weeks before I finished off that case. They were quite a bit more juicy, so I had quite a lot more grapefruit juice and a lot less hot water when I processed those last three jars, and they were actually quite a bit more flavorful than the first round of jars that I did. Pears, I have a ton of things that I want to do with those. And I'm sure the piggies will absolutely enjoy all of the pears, cores, and slices along with the horses. Because even my little bumpkin, I had tossed my um, peels out into the compost bin, which is actually my manure pile. And that little mare of mine climbed up the manure pile to the top and decided to start eating the grapefruit rind. It's like, come on, Philly. Are you serious? I look over and she is just chomping it away like it's a treat. Her mother will drink my tea. Anza will take the coffee right out of your hand, hot or not, and drink the whole cup. Her mother will drink a hot cup of tea out of your hand. My filly's eating grapefruit rinds. The stallion will eat anything. So I don't, I don't know. Apparently we have unique critters here. You know, sometimes I'm a little worried to tell people about what our animals do before they think they're all absolutely nutty. I have turkeys that walk into the house. I had cows that walked into the house, trying to turn on water faucets. One of these days, I have got to take the time and sharpen all of my knives. I would think after a surgery, I'd be able to push off of my knee by now, but that is not the case. You know, I had vertebrae replaced in my neck, and I was riding a very hot and spicy English mare at four months. I'm still fighting trying to get out of a chair with a knee at four months. Let me go get a bowl for these ones. They're just a little bit softer than what I would like for a canned item, so I think those are just due for supper or, or put them in the freezer or, oh, well, or something. I just have to rinse off our potatoes and then get our herbs and spices out. Alrighty, since I'm going to have to guesstimate how much weight we have here, I'm going to guess we have about nine-ish pounds. And the recipe calls for about every two and a half pounds is two tablespoons, two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of rosemary, and a teaspoon of thyme. So I'm just going to do some rounding. So we're just going to go, and that looks about split. So I'm going to go four and two and call her even. I'm going to go a little bit lighter on these ones because I've got a little bit of a finer You know what? I did not think this through. Gosh darn it, I did not. Let me grab my other canning funnel. And some of you may be wondering why I did not close the lid on my canner. And I'm letting the steam escape simply because the stock that I'm going to be adding to these potatoes is, even though I have brought it to the boil, it is not going to be nearly as hot as that canner is when I go ahead and fill these jars. So it doesn't need to be freshly boiled. It just needs to be warm because that's probably all the stock pot's going to be when I fill it. 
I'm hoping that I get at least four to six quarts of potatoes out of here. And I'm hoping it's something that uh, I can do like a quick mashed potato with or a breakfast potato for less because he really likes like American fries and that sort of stuff in the morning. And he has not had that in ages. I can make a lot of things really well. I totally suck at hash browns. I cannot make a hash brown to save my soul. You want me to cook you a steak? Great, I can do a steak. I cannot make a hash brown. And since I don't want the entire jar full of chicken stock, I'm only going to fill halfway. And then I'm going to fill up the rest with hot water. Just for the simple fact that I don't want my mashed potatoes to taste like chicken stock or bone broth. You know, everybody's got their own preferences. And I would rather have my lovely bone broth used in my soups and my stews and other things. To do a quick debubbling just to make sure everything goes down to the sides. You know, I am standing here thinking, when I did those carrots, I am pretty sure I put two teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of each herb in every one of those jars, because those buggers looked very herby rather than splitting that amount of herbs among the four jars. I bet you that's exactly what I did. I'm going to have to watch the footage to see if that's what I did. I think that's what I did. Oh my goodness, I think that's what I did. Oh my goodness. Huh. Well, we're going to have to see how those um, herbed carrots taste because I bet you they're going to be quite herby. So let's go ahead and get our herbed potatoes in the jar or in the canner, which you have seen me do numerous times. And then I will show you what they look like when they come out. 